right away we're going to start with some bait you can see we have three clouds of bait here uh, you can see they are bright yellow they have all the colors of our uh, palette there so we can see it's a uh, bright yellow in the center that means it is a very dense school of bait it's probably tiny bait it is threadfin shad i know that well we were netting it and it was very tiny so when you see a very dense school like this chance starts very tiny tiny bait because they're very small bait they can get super close together and all their air bladders kind of you know you know blend all together as one and it looks like one solid mass so that's a good way to determine the size of your bait if you have a nice thick cloud like that chance start small bait okay now if that was close to the bottom it can be confusing sometimes you're not sure if it's a tree or a bush a really great way to tell is you look at the top edge of the bait school now if you look at the top edge here it's very smooth that usually means it's a school of bait if it's rough on the top it can be a tree or a bush and you'll see it smooth on the top and rough on the bottom nine times out of ten that is a school of bait so that's what you want to look for let's look all the way up to the left here a little bit shallow water you can see two bumps on the bottom those are stumps okay and we can tell that they are stumps it's not bait it is not fish because there is no separation you can see it's connected to the bottom so when you see a hard return like that uh, 99 out of 100 times it will be a hard piece of structure a rock you know boulder stump whatever and we know it's not bait because for one it's connected to the bottom and for two you see the top is rough the top edge is rough that means it is probably not a bait school that's not true all the time but most of the time if it's nice and smooth on the top it is a bait school so so we have no separation on the bottom that tells us it's a stump or a rock now if you look at these arches here close to the bottom they look like those stumps the only difference is we do see space between the arch and the bottom so that tells us it's a fish now even if you're a flounder fisherman right and your flounder are laying or your fluke are laying right on the bottom i mean they're touching the bottom they're squeezed to the bottom as tight as they can get you'll still see a space there because that air bladder is a little bit off the bottom and some of the older transducers won't pick it up as well but today's you know new transducers especially the airmark chirp transducers the technology is so good that it really picks that air bladder up nice so all right i got a lot of questions about down scan uh, do you really need it if you have you know good sonar especially chirp sonar and i still use it it's it's really great for things like this you can see this on the bottom yeah, you know, and if you're a cat fisherman, you know, I've seen catfish look just like that when they're sitting on the bottom sometimes. So it can be confusing. You're not sure what that is. But if you look over here on the down scan, you can see it's clearly a stump connected to the bottom. So that's one really good use for down scan right there. You know, if you're throwing a cast net, sometimes you'll look at what looks like a perfect school of shad, just a big bunch on the bottom. And then you look on your down scan and see it's actually a tree. And I remember years and years ago netting many trees before there was down scan and side scan. Here's another example here why down skin is so good. You can see it looks like just a brush on the bottom and it's actually a school of bait. It's so close to the bottom it looks like it is part of the bottom, right? It looks like that stump we just looked at a little while ago. But if you look it's just two schools of bait. So here you go. Is it on the bottom? Is it not? Is it a catfish? Is it a stump? It is a fish. You see the separation. Not a very big fish, but it is a fish. Maybe he's got some brothers or cousins. All right, show of hands, how many people would throw a cast net on that? Be honest. I've done it. Not recently, but I've done it.